Okay, this here is my paragliding helmet that has all these things built into it. It has the GoPro Hero built into it, the iFi wireless photo and video upload 8 gigabytes card in it, it has the Yaesu VX3R ham radio built into it, the Bluetooth headset for music and phone calls headset built into it. It also has a remote control, so to power it on, Turn on the headset here. Gives audio tone indicator. Press play, pause. Mm, cool. I can do song forward, song backwards, and start over. Okay. This here is volume up. This volume down. Volume up. So this is not electrical tape. This is a special windshield decal so it doesn't get sticky and come off in the sun. It's heat shrunk over it so the paraglider lines can go over it. I have a Velcro patch here so I can feel it with gloves or without. There's the pause button so I can pause it during launch to talk to guys and then press play again. Let's see. So, ham radio is on. Turn the ham radio on or off. I press this. Turns it off. Press it again, turns it on. To power up the GoPro, press and hold this. LED indicator light and screen. I'm going to turn off the screen because it sucks battery. This here is a USB cable that I can plug in to download, but I don't have to because, matter of fact, because of this iFi card. Whenever I come within range of a Wi-Fi, it automatically starts uploading the video. I have it default right now to upload to my phone, my Galaxy Note 2 widescreen, so I can show people the video I capture while it's flying instantly. I can also turn on my Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone and upload while I'm flying. So while I'm flying, I put on my remote here which I can still hold my paraglider lines control them this here is the push to record with the flashing indicator light which I have set to move freely so that I can point it in my eye away from my eye wherever I want this here is the push to talk radio button I also during the flight, if uh, somebody calls, I can tap this button to answer the calls, speaks to them through the microphone with foam over it to block wind noise. So it all works, and all works very well. I love it. The best thing, feature about it is that since I'm only recording on launch at a great moment or at landing, during a one to two hour flight, most people have one to two hours of video they have to spend waiting through that video to get the only 10 minutes or so that YouTube allows you to upload. Well, with this helmet, there is no video editing. Also, I have it, the one microphone that is set to record from the GoPro has spliced into two. So I have one behind each speaker. So the music is dubbed right into the video automatically. So it automatically uploads. As a matter of fact, when I'm here at the house and I'm doing the sample video recording, I have to turn off my Wi-Fi at home, otherwise these sample videos automatically upload. So, everything works. And uh, let's see, all the batteries in here, this comes with 1100 milliamp hour 3 volt. This comes with 1100 milliamp hour 3 volt. This has a 120 to 250 milliamp hour 3.7 volt. All of them have been replaced with these here and this little bay that snaps in up under the helmet. So what this means to me is no more dead battery in flight. These all clip in and out very easily. Okay. So because it has twice a milliamp hour batteries and they're interchangeable, no more dead batteries during flight. No more, thought I had great video, but the battery died at launch. 
Um, so my best best part about this and favorite thing also is that it's all one unit. There is no plug-in, hookup, setup. Put the helmet on and launch. In flight, press power button, music on, press power button, GoPro on, press button, ham radio, or don't use it. You don't have to grab this in your hand either. You can leave it hang. Anyway, so first helmet I've ever seen with video camera built into it where the lines can come over and not get caught on anything. Super helmet. Anyway, gotta go fly. Later. Asta. Bye.